Hello, and welcome to the first episode of Brave New Media, a show dedicated to analyzing and showcasing the shows, comics, and other stories from the cluttered think tank known as the World Wide Web. I'm your host, David Caldor. If you're unfamiliar with my work, it's because this is my first. Essentially, I've decided to take the closest recording camera, gather all my opinions, and throw them at the internet hoping I start a conversation. Just like most folks on here seem to do. And the topic I want to cover on this show is about inspiration. That's the thing that comes to a lot of the people I'll be talking about on this program, and probably some I won't know about until sometime after I post this. Taking an idea in your mind and just running with it, no matter how stupid, no matter how difficult, and then seeing the results grow from the audience it attracts and the support that comes from that audience, just from you pitching your idea and giving them your soul, or even if it isn't your soul, it's part of your mind and them accepting that. And for our first episode, let's cover a story that hasn't even started yet and yet has gotten tons of focus and hype just because of the people that are coming together to make it. But first, some backstory on those people. If you're familiar with the Xbox game Halo Combat Evolved and its subsequent sequels, you're also probably familiar with Rooster Teeth Productions, specifically their flagship series based off the Halo franchise, Red vs. Blue. RVB, as it's affectionately known, follows the misadventures of two color-coded teams of soldiers in a box canyon in the middle of a desperate struggle. However, over ten years and four more Halo games, they learn their fight is bigger than just their two sides and try to answer one of life's great mysteries. Hey. Yeah? You ever wonder why we're here? The story utilizes machinima, basically filmmaking in a video game engine, to tell the story, finding new techniques to pull up each year for manipulating the game's physics and capabilities. In 2010, they took on Monty O, creator of the popular fan crossover animations Haloid, a brawl between Halo's Master Chief and Metroid Samus, and Dead Fantasy, basically the same thing but with Final Fantasy Dead or Alive and Kingdom Hearts character. This started a use of CGI and representation for certain scenes in Season 8, and eventually entire narratives in Season 9 and 10. Nearly at its 10 year anniversary, Red vs. Blue is currently the single longest running web series ever of all time. At the conclusion of Red vs. Blue's 10th season, a trailer was released, announcing a new animated production by Ohm and Rooster Teeth, entitled Ruby. And what does this trailer tell us about this upcoming project? Well, nothing really. A girl in a red hood stands in front of a grave, walks through a forest, and then fights a pack of giant wolves with her giant sniper scythe. You heard me, giant sniper scythe. It's a cool fight scene, sure, but that's pretty much par for the course with Monty Ohm, who's literally made a living making these kinds of scenes. The trailer is titled The Red Trailer, and it's been said we'll receive one for each of the other three color protagonists, white, black, and yellow. White's trailer has already been released in a similar fashion to Red's. Black's is due for March 22nd, and Yellow's is due for a currently unknown date, all leading up to the first episode's premiere at Rooster Teeth Expo later this year. However, neither of these trailers gave us a clear idea of what any of this means. Though this hasn't stopped the fanbase from spontaneously popping up, forming a wiki, character analysis, and tons and tons of fan of Ruby, the single voiceless character shown in the trailer. In the next video, I'll take a brief look at the recently released White trailer, followed by the company that started it all, Rooster Teeth. Their origins, their people, their past, and current works, everything and anything I can find and summarize, including the future show's proper creators, Monty Ohm, Miles Luna, and Carrie Shawcross. I'm likely not going to be able to make it out to the Richard Team Expo because I, it's in Austin and I don't live there, but I do plan to review it once it comes out online, so look forward to that. So, yeah, that's the end of the first episode. Hope you liked it. If you've got any questions, comments, criticisms, anything, help me improve, or anything, just let me know in the comments, and next, and after this whole Ruby thing is over, I can start reviewing shows that I want to make a point on, and if you have shows that you look up on here that you want to know about, then let me know about them, and I might do them. Okay, that's all for this first episode, and talk to you next time.